you know, so we're getting started on the front of this pocket little piece that we've already created. So you're going to go to your 12 by 12 collection and get this piece. And you are going to cut it. Let me see if I got the other one. Do I still have it? No. You're going to cut it eight and five eighths tall. So make sure you cut it in this direction so it's eight and five eighths inches tall. And your pastries are in this direction. You don't want to cut it and have them going in this direction. So be mindful of that. So mine measures eight and five eighths. Make sure you measure yours. So just cut your 12 by 12, eight and five eighths inches tall. And then from that, you're going to cut a five eighths of an inch piece. So this is just the reverse. So you're just going to cut five eighths of an inch off of this and we're going to put that over here so you're going to hear that to the edge this is going to be over like this so it's going to look something like this and then we will be creating a little door element so we know to this is going to be a place where we're going to open open this area so we can open our little booklet. But for now, get this cut, ink it. I've already inked mine. I'm going to adhere this down here. Make sure you open this up when you're putting everything down so you have a flat surface to work with. So it's going to be like that and like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tape on mine and I'm going to ink this and then I will adhere this down and I will be back. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks very nice. I added this little ribbon. Now, now this little ribbon is, is placed under this first flap. So I used my undo and just lifted it a little bit to put my ribbon there, just because that's where I wanted it. So I will make note of it um, before we start putting in these pockets to not adhere it if you want to add a ribbon. So this is a little ribbon. I just like to have these to pull up. You could put it farther down here but I like it right here which is four and a half inches up from the bottom so I did that so we're going to go into our first side remember we have these two pockets I took out the recipe cards so we have these two pockets here and then we have this pocket right in here so we're going to start with the inside here. So this is, let me get, well, we're gonna be just doing this part. So we're going to be doing this pocket and what you're going to be using, you're going to get the um, 12 by 12 paper that has this pattern, the stripe, it has the umbrellas on the opposite side and you are going to cut this piece. It's going to be three and one eighth, three and one eighth inches wide by eight and a half inches long. So you're gonna do that. And I just kind of put a little bit of black soot just around the edges to tap out that, that white. That's going to go there. Then you're going to get this from the um, 12 by 12 collection to this butterfly paper on the other side of this. And this is going to be measuring eight and a half inches long, 
just like this by five and a half inches wide. Now this is going to be slipping into here like that. So I always use, you know, if you know me, I always use tape. So I've got this already taped and ready to go. Now this one, when I, I'm, I put tape and I'm going to be stopping right where the pocket begins. So all you do is you get this, flip it over, put it in the pocket. Come on, go in there, goes in the pocket. And then you just mark where the pocket starts and that's where your tape is going to end. You don't need tape going into the pocket. So it's just going to slip right in like that. And then I'm just going to pull the tape after I get it in. So I am going to do that and then I will be right back. Now, um, I had marked to put magnets here and then it's going to close over on this side. So we need magnets here and then their counterparts over here. Do you need magnets? Do you have to have magnets to keep this closed in your thing? Probably not. Probably can do without it. Doesn't really need it. Um, but if you're going to be taking it in and out, I just thought it'd be nice to have magnets. So you don't have to put magnets in, but I'm going to. Same thing, three and a quarter inches in, three and a quarter inches up. And then this one, you have to do it three and a quarter inches down from the top of the pocket and three quarters of an inch in from the side. So I'm going to put... I don't even need to put the large ones in, but it's a closure, so I just like to put the large ones Oops, make sure I got that right. Okay, now, there, now to get the counterparts. So let me get um, some tape here. And this will go here and I can probably just take this off. Oops, get that off. And same thing, get some tape under here. And get this off. Okay, so I'm going to stand this up to get those magnets placed. I just want my gussets all squared up. Try to square it up again. I'm gonna go make sure it's squared up here. There, that looks good on this side. Down here, that looks good. So those transfers, so I'm going to put black construction tape over these. So for your pockets, you're going, this is from the 12 by 12, you're going to be getting this paper, the one with the cherries, and you're going to be cutting this three and a quarter inches high. And then you want to make sure this lines up with your patterned orange paper at the bottom so this line is straight now I cut mine six and a quarter inches in this direction and it's a tad too long so I'm going to take it back to the trimmer to get cut this down 
Um, originally, I was going to be using the 8x8 eight eight paper, but of course, I cut it in the wrong direction. I don't even know where I have it now. But I cut it in the wrong direction. I cut it so it was going in this direction. <laughs> so you want to make sure when you're, it's in the trimmer that you are cutting it in this proper direction of these. That I want these to go in this direction. So I messed that up. So I went to the 12 by 12 paper. If you have, if you want to use the 8 by 8, that would be great. And just cut it in the proper direction. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to find the center and I am going to make my little notch. If you didn't do that, you don't have to make your little notch. So I am going to trim this up, find my center and make my little notch. So I adhered both these pockets down and for the insert little little piece of insert that we need I'm going to salvage this is the the 8x8 eight eight paper that I cut and put it in the wrong direction that was supposed to go down here um, but since I did them in the wrong direction um, I'm just going to cut these in half turn them around and put them in here like that so don't want to waste that paper so that's what I'm going to do for these and doesn't that look pretty and we're going to be doing something down here probably be doing a little card or something down here but that's going to be at the end when we we do our final decoration but that's this side now when you make this side going to be easy because you're just going to replicate what you've already done you should have enough paper from the 12 by 12 that you that you did made these two pockets you should have enough paper to do another pocket and then you still have your other 12 by 12 sheet so we'll be making those and same thing you've got plenty of paper to make your stripe pocket and some more of this paper so just go ahead and reproduce what you did on this side and put it on this side and then i'm going to do that then i will be back okay so we're still working on this little folder we got the cover um we got this side in these pockets this part in on both sides so what we're going to do now is work on the center panel so you are going to go to your 12 by 12 collection of this paper and what you're going to do or what I did doesn't mean you have to do it but you are going to be cutting from up here and you're going to go over one two three four five one two three four five so you're going to be cutting down through here now the way i cut mine because this is a little bit too wide from here to here so what i did once i cut this part out i went in and cut from this line if you can see this there's this first dark blue line am i even in frame ah da, da, da. here's the dark blue line i went to this second inner line right here and i cut all the way down you can see that second inner line right here a bit better if i was where is my camera the second inner line right here so if you have your paper you'll see that first dark line second inner line 
And then you'll go over one, two, three, four. You'll get to this part and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna cut to that, not the first dark line, but the second inner lighter line right here. And that should give you the proper width. But go ahead and, you know, measure yours just to make sure it does fit. And then you're going to be, you're not going to be putting it in yet. Um, but just that's the way it's going to be sitting. Don't glue anything down yet because we have some stuff we're going to put on this. Then we're going to be making a pocket at the bottom. So the pocket measures seven and seven eighths by two and three quarters and you're gonna score half an inch on three sides. So that's gonna sit down here. But let me bring in my prototype. What we are going to be making, you know, this is a hodgepodge of paper, remember, just scrap paper. We're going to be making this. Now this is going to be underneath the designer paper so you won't see these little feet. Here's our pocket down here. Now what I was thinking back here, you could stick in um, recipes that you cut out, um, bigger, bigger recipes that you wanna just stuff back in here, or you can put photo mats in here too of food you've made or, or baked. And then we're going to keep that secure so these don't wobble around down here with one of these button button loop thingy majigs, which are real easy to make make. So I'm going to show you how to make these also. So go ahead and oops, go ahead and get your paper cut. Do not adhere it. Um, for now, you don't need to cut the, the length down. I think what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cut it right here so I can preserve one, two, three, four, so I can preserve all these stamps below here. I don't wanna cut like right in the middle of something. So I'm going to cut right down there and then I will just have that there, not adhered. And then I will come back and show you how we're going to make these little guys. So I'll be right back. Okay, so how do we make these? Those of you that buy Graphic 45 paper, here's my knife before Christmas, you know, they usually come with these templates inside. So what I did is I cut out the ATC cards, because these are like ATC cards. I cut out these templates and I scanned them. So I put them in my scanner, scanner. I put them in my scanner and then print them, printed them out on 65 pound cardstock. And this is them printed out at 100%. And then I printed them out. I tried various um, percents to see which reveal I wanted for the designer paper. I picked 96%. That was the one I wanted. So I, when I printed this out, I set my printer to print it out at 96%. This is printed out at a hundred percent. Hopefully that makes sense. So I have these on a PDF file now, so I can, anytime I want to make them, I can make them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut out the template for the hundred percent, and I'm going to put this on my black cardstock, and I'm going to cut it out. Then I am going to cut this template out and put it on my designer paper. And the designer paper that we're gonna use for these little flaps is this one. This is from the 12 by 12 collection, this paper. And we're go I'm going to paste that on top of here. Now this PDF file, I already made it. 
So if you don't know how to do it, um, I will see if I can just send it to Julie and Okay, so I traced out um, two of the 100% templates. So you can see where I cut it out. And I have my two 100%. And you don't have to round the corners at the bottom because you're just going to be scoring a half an inch at the bottom anyway. But it doesn't matter if you did. So we have our two 100%. And then I cut out my 96%. I traced it and cut those out. So uh, make sure after you cut it out, if you have any pencil markings, you erase it. And then I just kind of went around with it with some black soot just because it hides my imperfections of my, my cutting. And then we're going to adhere these like this. Now, you are going to score it, so you need to trim some of this off before you put it down. So just get it lined up where you want it, and then you can just mark it, and you know you're gonna be cutting that off just right above that mark, so somewhere around there. So then I'm going to adhere this probably with glue. So don't want you to watch me struggle with my glue. So I'm going to make two of these carts. Just make sure that when you do cut this bottom part off, you do not, you want to end it about like right there. So you just want your little reveal. You don't want it going all the way to the edge because this is going to be um, going in your folder. So you want it like at that, right, right there. So go ahead and get that lined up and figure out where you need to cut it and glue it together. And I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our little flaps made. We have our half an inch little flap right there. So now we're going to make our little buttons that go here. So you are going to get, hopefully if you have like 85 um, pound card stock, put two of these circles. Now I used a three quarters of an inch circle punch and I made these from the 85 pound card stock you're going to just glue those together. So just glue them together. And you want to really make sure you mush that glue to the edges. So kind of mush it around. And then you want that to set that aside and let it dry. So that's going to be the base of your button. It should be pretty thick. You want it to be thick and strong. So I already made two and they're dry. They've been sitting there for a while. Then you're going to get a 5 8 of an inch circle punch. And you are going to punch from, this is the 8 by 8 little cherry paper. And you're going to punch a couple of these. And then you're going to ink get the white out and you're going to just paste that right in the center of your dot of your black dot so put this there and see if i can center this shouldn't be that hard right <laughs> there's one and do the other one 
And then you're going to want to let that dry because you're going to be putting a hole through it and you don't want to put a hole through paper that is a little bit soggy, a little bit wet. So there's mine and let's get it closer to my eye so I can make sure it's centered. Good. So that and that. So those look good. So those are going to be our little our little buttons. So I am going to let those little those little buttons um dry and if you have a, a pokey tool whatever these are called an owl a w l i think that's how you spell them you are we are going to make, be making a hole in the center of these let me just show you with this one just kind of quickly glue this down I'm going to let that sit there. And then what you will do is, once yours are dry, you are going to find the center. I just kind of put it on my mat and line it up and find the center. And you're just going to make a hole in it. And then you're going to push up your pokey tool to get your hole. Like I said, you want your paper to dry be dry. This one's still a little moist. So not, not good. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. So, um, and then you're going to get mini brads. Now, these are my mini brads. They're just smaller brads. Don't really know what size those are. So I'm going to be getting a couple of mini brads too. So I'll be back once my guys are completely dry. Okay, so these little buttons are dry. I went ahead and did my pokey tool with one of them. And now this one, I like to center it on my, my mat here. And it's got the X right there. Close enough. Get the pokey tool pushed in there. So now we have our two little buttons. You're going to get your small brad, just going to put it through the holes. There's one and two. So, we got our buttons. Now, go back to your cards. So, you have, I'm using the 96% template. You have this little hole that was on your template. And then, on that same line, you're going to come down. This is like a half an inch. You're going to come down. And it's about equivalent to this line going across right here. So, we are going to make a hole in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our card and I am going to push the pokey tool through that hole. So that is where I want the brad to go. Right there. So we're going to do that on both sides. So now we have our holes. So the first one, you're just gonna put the brad through and you're going to open up the wings. Open up those wings and then push them down flat. This is a great little pokey tool. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, but it's a pokey tool with, with this thing that flattens out the brads. So that's one. So we've got one. And I'm going to 
will be putting string around it, so I might have to put a little spacer under there, but we'll see. Now with this one, we're going to be putting it in also, um, opening up those brads. Putting that down, flattening those out. And then you're going to get waxed thread. Now waxed thread's really nice because it grabs. So when you wrap it around and you go round and round, it, it grabs so it doesn't come undone. Now I have this, it's real old and it's like three ply, which is what I want. Um, I like the size of this three ply but I don't really like the color. And then I have black, and the black is five ply. So this is wax linen thread. This is five ply. This is a little too thick, but it's the right color. This one's the right size, but it's the wrong color. Let me just see how this one works. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tie this, and this will, this will actually serve as a spacer too, because you tie it underneath the black cardstock so it lifts it up so it's easier to, to get your, your thread around this little circle. Tie it once, and then again on the opposite side. And like I said, that that wax thread grabs so it's not going to come undone. And then with this, you would just snip off this piece, this short piece. And that's done. I might snip that off a little bit more. I didn't get it all. So the way this is going to work, I'm not going to be using this. So I want this, how far up did I want it? I want it up like four inches. So I want to place these four inches up. So four inches up here. Let's see, what side do I want it on? put this on this side so this piece is going to be this this end is going to be at that four inch side so it's going to be like this so I'm going to go a little bit away from you don't want it touching this fold line right there so I'm going to be applying that there about an eighth of an inch away from that fold line. And then this one is going to be applied the same place, four inches up, an eighth of an inch away from the fold line. Now, do I want it going this way or this way? Which, what's more natural? Probably this way. And it doesn't matter, you can take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these right there, and then we will be back. Got these flaps in. I haven't cut the string on this one yet. That we'll do that later. So got my centerpiece here. I had to trim off just a smidge. I mean a smidge, and from each sides. Uh, the, this side and this side and re-ink the edges with black soot all the way around. So this is going to go here. This will be folding in here uh, like that. But first, before we put this page down, I want to put our pocket. So your, remember your pocket was seven and seven eighths um, by two and three quarters and you scored it half an inch on all three sides. 
I went ahead and mitered everything and it's going to go down here. So I'll be putting that in and then we're going to slide our paper in here once I get this down and then this will be um, finished. And then we're going to have to go ahead and put some paper on the back to hide, obviously, this right here. But first, let's get that pocket in, and I'll be right back. I know you won't forget to put your scotch tape at the bottom flap here, This so things go in smoothly. Um, just wanted to make sure you guys... Don't forget, and then put this up. And now we can, hopefully this paper's gonna slip right in, let's see. It should. There, okay, there it goes. So I am going to be attaching this paper and this like here, and then we're going to be adding this same designer paper to the bottom flap down here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this piece. Of course, I'm gonna be using tape, so it takes me a while. And then I'm gonna be cutting out the designer paper, this one from the 12 by 12, and put that down here. And then be right back. Now, I was looking for my eight by eight paper and I can't find any more. And I'll, I go, what have I used it on? I've only used it for these little inserts. Um, so where did both sheets go? I. I've looked everywhere. I can't find it. So I wanted to put the cherry here because I have the cherries here. I just kind of want this to be cherry type theme going on here. So I ended up cutting with our template, the 96% template. And make sure you cut that half inch off of the bottom, ink the edges. So I'm going to apply this to here and that will cover up your little brad. On both sides so that I'm going to do and then for the rest of the pockets on the back side that we didn't get to here's the the 8x8 eight eight paper go ahead and cut this I think six was it six and a quarter inches long yeah almost six and a quarter inches long but since I was running out of paper, only make it one and a half inches deep. It doesn't have to be that deep. It's just fitting into that pocket. So I've cut all of mine for all pockets on the inside, including way over here. So all the pockets, I've been they've been cut and inked for the inside. And then for the pocket, outer I'm going to be using this paper which is the 8x8 the the opposite side of this paper but in the 8x8 so that's going to go down here so same thing just um, you know measure it if you're doing the notch remember that goes halfway just going to measure it halfway through and then I'm going to be cutting all of my pockets get these adhered to these little flaps, figure out what I'm gonna do with this um, wax thread, and then we will be done with this inner part. So see you in a little bit. Okay, so we got these pockets in. Oops, something just fell. <laughs> got these pockets in on this side and the pockets in on this side. And we have our centerpiece with our, oops, which way did I, there, with our black 
waxed um, linen thread. This is five ply. Probably would prefer to use three ply, but this works. Just make sure when you do these, I like to do the figure of eight closure. One, two, three, four, and then it's down. Um, I might put a little charm or some doohickey down here. I don't know yet. But so we are done with, oh my goodness. No, we're not. No, we're not. Still have to do this page. And our final folder insert. Oh my goodness. Oh. I guess we'll be back to do this page and the file folder insert. See you in a bit. So we're almost done with this, this little part. So the only thing left to do is this page with the magnets. So we don't want to do anything fancy here because the magnets, we need them to stick. So we don't want to interfere with the magnets. So we are going to use this piece, the little um, squares with this image on the back. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. So that is going to be going down here. Let me put this in here so you can see. That's going to be going down in here. So this measures, I believe, one and a half inches. Yes, it's one and a half inches deep. So that's going to go here and it is, how long? About not quite, it's in between six and an eighth and six and a quarter. I just kind of lined it up there and marked it. So that's going to go there. So that will go over our magnets and it will hide the magnet there. And then you're going to go to the 8x8 eight eight collection, which is the same dots, only these are much smaller. And we're going to be using this side. So you're going to cut them exactly the same length here. You just line it up and mark and cut this page. And then I want a little bit of black in between. So about like that. And then I will measure and cut up and through here. So depending on how much reveal you have, put this down first and then figure out how much reveal you want and then measure and cut it. Be sure to ink the edges and then I'll be back once I am done with that. Okay, so the paper is in here. Still have to do this insert. And probably going to do an edging here. But this will wait till we're at the end to see how much scrap paper we have. Don't want to use any nice paper yet on this and so this is basically let me close this up now this remember this is the back side this is going to be going into the album itself the folio um, but I'm going to be putting magnets here and once again at the end when we look to see what paper we have left then we will apply the paper to here because no one's really going to see it. So, okay, we're done with this.